So you may be wondering why I'm sitting in my engine bay. Wax frames. Not a good idea, GM. Not a good idea. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Back to the channel. What's a little bit of fun like pulling a truck out? So, well, it's out. GM had the worst decision in ever wax frame. So as you see, this is a four or five year old truck, and the frame, the wax is all gone. So it just makes a rusty mess. So we're gonna paint it up. Got to get it pressure washed to get the rest of the wax off. We're set to go. Let's wash this bad boy up, get it all cleaned up. So we're gonna get all in here. As you see, I started with a paint scraper and rubbing it down. Um, well, I got oil everywhere. So we're gonna get it as clean as we possibly can. Hot water, some degreaser, maybe some diesel fuel. I don't know, first time doing this. Got it cleaned up, so as you see where the wax was already missing, it's got some surface rust. Cleaned it, degreased it. We're gonna do some pre-prep on it. Gotta get it in, get it warm. So we'll push it back in now. Same with did everything in here, so. I wish I did this a long time ago when the frame would clean up like that. So instead I gotta deal with this flake and this rust and stuff. Alrighty, ran over. Got paintbrushes, um, got buckets. What do we get? Got tennis balls. When we get home, I got him two of them. So, local hardware store, two for a dollar. Yanko's loving it though. We're gonna stop at one more stop and then we'll uh, get on home uh, and start working on that frame. It's in the shop, it's warm. It says if it's 70, it paints better so we got the heat cranking should be about beach season big fan mountain dew slushies from 7-eleven now we can go back to work here's where we are at prep frame starting to paint the frame so that's first coat this wire that's hanging actually, I gotta tie it up. It goes to the lift pump and gives me pressure at the lift pump. So, got the other side as far as under the truck done with the first coat. So, gaining on it 
this is definitely not the most fun I've had, but it is gonna make it so much nicer. As you see right there, it just looks better. And that's the first coat. Can't get every spot on the first try because it just rubs it around more. So you let that dry, then you get another coat on it. I'll keep working up this way and then we'll get underneath the where the hood would be. So. It probably would have made it easier, probably taken a long time, to get all these clamps off and then I'd have to remember where everything ran. So I'm just brushing it around. I'm not so worried if I get a little paint on these grommets and whatnot. Um, the starter's actually getting switched. I got a better starter that's going in. I figured as long as I was there, I'm changing the starter out because it's a pain. But yeah, slowly painting along. I'm doing like one of those, what is it, sip and paint things with the wine. Should probably go get some wine and, you know, paint something cool. But I'll admit, this stuff isn't that much action, but I figured I'd keep you guys up to date on it. So, it's the following day. I got two coats of paint on the frame. That's looking pretty good. Pretty excited for that. I only got one coat in the engine bay due to time last night. So I gotta go back and do some of that. But as you see, that's looking good. I'm cleaning all that up. Um, yeah, pretty excited for that. That's gonna make the truck, just keeps the frame so much nicer. So what I'm using is Rust-Oleum flat black um, paint. I'll show the can in a second. We'll just look at this side. So, pretty excited about that. At some point I'll pull the bed off and we'll do the rear of the frame. This, the frame rails on the side up towards the front. That was my biggest issue, um, just from rocks coming up. So the problem with GM frames is they're all waxed. And in theory, it works great until either you touch the wax, you undercoat it, you wash it, or a rock comes up and starts chipping it and it eats it out. It dries it out and cra starts cracking. And then it just flakes off. So you're not gonna be able to see what it says I guess Rustoleum. Yeah, it's like ours k7776 or something I don't know Rustoleum pro grade flat black but all right I guess I'll start by finishing up another coat in the engine bay and then we'll do one more coat on the frame rails and then I think that's it um, it's warm in here which is awesome so it's drying I got to do underneath the wheel wells I just left these in since I gotta pull them out to the side. They do have rock lights in them, so that's why I can't just pull them out and leave them out. They have wires attached to them. Get right into the wheel wells so you can see right there it's painted right there is not got some rust we got to paint on which is good which is okay but all that rust is from the wax peeling off of the frame so like that the wax peeled off that like I never touched right there the wax peeled off so these wires are kind of a pain but if I had a lift, I'd pull the cab and the whole front, and then you could easily work on it. You got to take a few bra bracket bolts off and lines. So, I don't though. I really wish I did because my life would be a lot easier. But we'll get that painted up. The other side's a lot easier. And then we'll do one more coat on the frame rails. So, I hope you guys 
enjoyed my little meticulous here. Yesterday I stood in here and I got all the way back and real nice. This I'm not so concerned about. Two coats on this is going to be more than enough. It doesn't get enough abuse up here. It's the frame rails itself that really get banged on and scraped and everybody sees them. So I got sick of looking at it and seeing that they were rusted all the time. So that's why I'm here. Well, got everything painted up. I'm going to do one more coat in the wheel wells. Engine bay is good. Frame rails are good. Maybe a cross member I'm going to do. I know this really isn't a lot of action. I got big things planned. So we just rolled over 25,000 subscribers being Sunday today. Um, we got a big surprise next weekend. Big surprise. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, I really appreciate everybody liking and sharing. Um, maybe in a, another adventure, a quick adventure. I got something in the works there. But yeah, hopefully I can get the motor for this and we'll start getting this back together because this is just a dragon on project expensive dragon on project to be uh honest about that but thanks for watching make sure if you haven't done so and you've made it this far subscribe to the videos or to the channel um and like the videos really really helps everything grow more and more and really keeps me driving to keep content coming out to you guys so have a good one